everybody there. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. I'm in a silly mood today. I'm in a proper silly mood. Don't ask me why. Anyway, I'm going to wait until someone actually is there to talk to. Hooray! Say hello if you're there. Say hello if you're there. Bailey's come special as a butterfly today. It's come special. Charlie, right, my daughter's just messaged me, right, asking me what we're going to do with, what we're going to do on Chat with Charl next week. Well, if she knew me, she knew that I'd just started my live, wouldn't she? Hi, Lauren. Oh, sorry, Lauren. I, I think it was you I was in clinic with this week. Um, and I'm really sorry. I went, oh. <gasps> And you must have thought, oh, there's something really wrong. Well, I went, oh, because I wrote down the date, didn't I? And I realised I'd forgot my mum's birthday. I forgot my mum's birthday. I don't think she watches this, so she won't know. Anyway, I had to quickly resolve that situation. Hi, Colette. Hi, Leanne. How are you all doing? Happy Friday. I've tried to do my hair myself. My daughter usually does it, but she's at, u she's at university. So I have to try and do it myself. Anyway... What we're going to talk about, yes, 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 <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lauren. You know when you think, right, I've forgotten three people's birthdays. I've forgotten my sister-in-law's birthday. I've forgotten my mum's birthday. And it's the same day every year. And I nearly forgot my daughter's birthday. So I've got one daughter that was born on the 1st of March, one daughter on the 8th of March, and I'm thinking, what do I get the daughter on the 8th of March? Thinking, oh no, I've got one that's got a birthday on the 1st of March. This is what happens to you when you get old. Anyway, do you like Bailey's outfit? Do you like Bailey's outfit? Say hello, you can get up. Come on, up you get. Want to see your wings? Want to see your wings, Bailey? Come on. Before we do... um. Yes, I know. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. There's two of them here. There's three of them here. Anyway. Anyway, what we were going to talk about. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Hayley. How are you? Happy Friday. Right. I'll stop wittering on and we'll get on with our virtual shower. But first of all, I've got to address a problem. I've got to address a problem that occurred this week. Apart from the... Hi, Zena. Hi, Jessica. Apart from um, the forgetting all everybody, every single person in my family's birthday that I've forgotten, I had to phone my dad up and I, have to, I had to phone my dad up and say, is it my mum's birthday today? And he said, yes, she was born such and such many days older. She's older than me. Anyway, right. What we're going to talk about is, first of all, I've got to clear something up, right? So I've had a real... I know, I know you're beautiful, Bailey. You are beautiful and I know you're just hungry. That's why you're sitting here, isn't it? With your little little um, butterfly wings on. Can't see your butterfly wings because you're not in the... Sh right, you can't see them. Anyway, so I've, I've got a problem with this week. This week's been a really, really busy week for me and I've seen lots of ladies in clinic and on more than one occasion... More than one occasion, I have had women coming in and obviously I need to examine them and listen to the baby and all the normal things that we do. And they've said, I'm so fat. I'm so fat. I'm so fat. And they're just slagging themselves off um, in a very disgusted tone. And that really, really upsets me that that's how people feel about themselves. And I just go, no, you mustn't say that. You mustn't say that. Number one, it's a really hard time to be pregnant. And number two, that negative self-talk is not good for you. It's not good for your mental health. And we're all talking about how we can try and keep our mental health tip top. And even if you're somebody like lots, lots of women are horrible to themselves. Lots of women are horrible. They talk to themselves, including me, because I, I caught myself saying in the mirror, God, that last live I did with Charlie... Have you seen the state of your? Have you seen the state of your hair? Have you seen how old you look? Oh, and I'm going, no, no. So the number one thing is catch yourself when you're doing it. Be be um be aware when you're talking yourself down because sometimes we we're more horrible to ourselves than we would be to our 
friends and family or even strangers, you wouldn't say something horrible like, oh, I'm so fat, oh, you look so fat, oh, you this, you that, you the other. You know, I know it's, it's pretty hard when you're pregnant because you don't always feel your best and you do sometimes feel you you know it's difficult to deal with the changes in your body shape hi tracy agnes agnieszka hi sean hi katie how are you this morning it's not so nice is it it's blowing a hooligan out there anyway so just try to stop yourself doing it so no telling yourself you look fat you are fat you're horrible you're this you're that you're the other because you're not because you know what? What I see when my ladies come in to see me is beautiful women that are growing a human being in their belly. It's amazing. They're amazing. And it's hard because they can't come to appointments with the partners, you know. So I don't want to hear any more negative self-talk, right? So I'm going to leave, um, give you a couple of tips, right? This is Brené Brown. Talk to yourself like you would to someone you love. I think that is such, such a good piece of advice. So you are not, if you're pregnant, you're not getting a big belly because you're fat. You're getting a big belly because you're growing a baby and you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're amazing. Keep telling yourself that. And I'm not sure whether you can get hold of this book. That's the, from what I've read of it so far, it's amazing. I don't, I got it through amazon but it was a second hand book and i wish it was available i'm going to try again to get hold of the authors but it's called the essential guide to loving your body before and after your baby because things change things do change but if you've brought a human being into the world you are amazing right so no more negative self-talk from you and from me because it's not doing your mental health any good Bailey, oh, you do look beautiful in your in your beautiful wings, right? All right, just before I get on, right, let me... You beautiful wings! You can't see your little antennae, can you? Look, your antennae, you're looking amazing, Bailey. Right, banish negativity, positive body image. Try reframing your thinking and things like positive birth affirmations, positive affirmations, because you know that you beautiful it's just we haven't had a right lot what about after the birth when you're stuffing cakes and bi biscuits in your face well instead of sitting there Zena, saying oh i'm a big fat pig i'm horrible i'm really fat and all this lot that is not helpful um it's really really not helpful in all it's going to do is that's what we call beating yourself up so what you need to do Zena. And hopefully I'll get to chat to you later is say, I'm going to be kinder to my body. And sometimes if you just focus on, oh, I've had too many cakes, all you can think about is cakes. I know I'm the same with chocolate. So just think to yourself, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to treat my body to a really good homemade soup. And you know, you've seen the soups I've made or I'm going to treat myself to a nice big. Oh, Bailey. Oh, Bailey. Oh, Bailey, you are gorgeous. You're gorgeous. He's part of my video today because he's included in it. Anyway, so instead of focusing on the negative or the things that you don't like about yourself, number one, find something about yourself that you really do like. And I know my sister, Zena, you're very, very lucky to have a tiny little waist. And it doesn't matter you know how your body shape changes you always have a tiny little waist brilliant you've got gorgeous hair you've got blonde hair you used to have got brown hair like mine that just goes white with roots all over the place you know find things about yourself that you really really like and you know treat your body to good nutrition good hydration try and get you try and get sleep patterns healthier all those things are will help you feel more positive and then, you know, you're not thinking so much about the cakes. Or you might say, well, I'm going to, I'm just going to have a cake, you know, at the weekend or, you know, but just sitting there going, I'm so fat and I'm so this, that and the other. You know, it's hard having a baby. It's hard being pregnant. Go easy on yourself. So that's my little mini lecture over with. We're going to get on to baby showers. Why baby showers? Well, I'll tell you what I think about baby showers. 
Do you know what I think about baby showers? I, well, I used to hate them. I used to absolutely hate them. And you know what? I've never actually been to a baby shower. I've never been to a baby shower in person because I've probably tried to get out of them. And I've, um, I have done... I think one virtual baby shower on a Zoom call, that was for my sister, and I've sent a message, a video for um, one of my friends, and that was put put together as part of a baby sh a lockdown baby shower. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But the reason I used to hate baby showers is because I couldn't get it out of my head that it's like... Um, it's like inviting people to buy you presents and I'm really not a materialistic person and I just think if I want to buy your baby a present, I'll buy your baby a present when I want to buy your baby a present and I probably got it all mixed up in my head but I think, do you know what, I just don't like the materialistic part of baby showers where everyone gets together to, you know, you invite someone, don't you, to buy you something nice for your baby. Well, I suppose I'm just a bit old fashioned and I, you know, I'm of the, you know, the generation that you just bought somebody. A... Where's the other one gone? Oh, come here. What are you looking for? You can't get the, you can't get the tasty minis round there. Now, back up, back up. Right. Come on now. Come on now. Honestly, honestly, worse than having kids. Right, so you keep putting me off my stride. I can't remember what I was talking about now. Oh, baby showers. Baby showers. So, I think I've get, got the sentimentality of baby showers a bit better now. Because I think when you when um, people are having lockdown baby showers, it's because usually because somebody else have, has thought of it and thought, what can we do to make that pregnant mummy feel nice? So, it's sort of become more about thoughts and good gestures and positivity for the mum which is has got to be a good thing hasn't it you know are you lying down why don't you sit down a minute why don't you sit down so you know anything that makes mums feel better about the whole situation of lockdown has got to be a good thing hasn't it um so i quite like them now i quite like them now because it's more about thoughts and gestures and goodwill than it is about just buy me something for my baby so it's lovely when other people organize them so i'm going to share with you some of the photographs of my sister's lockdown baby shower let's see who's watching hi marilyn hi helen hi julia hi jessica good good afternoon good afternoon happy friday so I've I this is you might have noticed just not very well organized. I've tried my best, but it's just been a really really busy week at work, so I've not really had much chance of looking at things. So I've just put together what I think and I hope you find it helpful. So why do a lockdown baby shower? Why do one? Why bother? Because to be honest, we can't really be bothered to do anything. We can't be bothered. We don't have to go to any parties, so we don't have to dress up. We don't have to do our hair and makeup. We live in our dressing gowns, don't we? So we're just getting into a little bit of a can't be bothered sort of a frame of mind. And, you know, lockdown baby showers are really good because it brings people together and it makes people feel better about stuff so the people who are organizing the baby shower will feel good about themselves because they know don't they they know that that secret baby shower that it might just be the mummy to be and the partner are gonna sit there and you know she's gonna sit there with tears of joy because of all the sentimentality all the goodwill all the good thoughts that that people have sent and it's it's more about the the thoughtfulness of it more about the thoughtfulness of it and what i think is particularly has particularly changed my mind about baby showers is that mums to be have missed out on so much so my sister i would normally when she wasn't pregnant we'd normally you know we'll get into the stage in life where we're both married and not going out round town so much because you can't really be bothered to do that 
but her and her husband would come round to our house and we'd have, have drinks and have a laugh, have a laugh. Because my sister's funny when she gets uh, a little bit tipsy. It's quite funny. And then it can go either way. We can either end up laughing and hugging or getting annoyed with each other. And that's what happens when you drink too much. So it's not always a good thing, is it? Anyway, anyway, I've got this little butterfly's head on my knee. Where's your antenna? Let's just leave it like that. Anyway, so... So I would normally see quite a lot of my sister every, you know, you do fit things in and you're friends and we're all having to just get used to a new way of life. And to be honest with you, even though we've got video calling and Zoom calling, I haven't seen my best friend for ages, ages, because stuff's getting in the way. I'm doing stuff. She's doing stuff. And, you know, and and it's hard, isn't it? Because the days and the nights and the weekend and the day, everything feels the same. And to be honest with you, I felt really, really down this week um, just because I found myself waking up thinking, are we still doing this coronavirus thing? Is it still happening? So we've done it, haven't we? Life's changed and the whole of a full whole year and we're still having to stick to restrictions. We're still having to you know, not see our friends and things not gone back to normal. Maybe we thought at the beginning of this, it, everything would have gone back to normal, but it hasn't. So we've got to decide that we're going to stick with it. We're going to stick with it. We're going to get each other through and we're just going to try and make the best of it because you can and, no, you know, you're still going to have your baby. You still, hopefully, all your family and friends are going to be happy and healthy and, and there's going to come a time where we're all going to get together and it's going to be amazing and we're going to appreciate each other and it's just going to be so lovely. But for now, we're going to just keep chipping on and we're going to keep keep trying and keep keeping each other's spirits up. And that's why I do these things, because I think, you know, people seem to, you know, be watching my mug talking about things related to midwifery and baby showers and mating making and do it mating not mating no more mating please making <laughs> i am in a really stupid mood today i'm really really sorry i'm getting giddy today i'm in i'm all all alone i'm all alone today son's gone to work with his dad daughter elder uh, middle daughter she's had to go to work somewhere else today so I'm on my own with these two, these crazy idiots, these three. I keep saying two. I've got two black ones and one yellow one. Anyway, right. So baby showers. So I have, talking about my sister, you'll notice that I, my brain is at the age where it just goes off on tangents. So forgive me. So my sister, I think I saw her with a big pregnant belly once. I think I saw her once with a big pregnant belly and that was at, in between lockdowns, when we were allowed to, I can't remember, was it somebody's birth? I can't remember how we, how we came to be together um, at my mum's house, but it was between lockdowns and, and I saw her once with a pregnant belly and she looked gorgeous. She had a gorgeous all-in-one thingy on and she just looked so happy and she was showing off her belly. That was once, my sister once. So obviously I get to see a lot of the ladies that I'm looking after, but you guys will be the same way. You can't see friends, can't see family. And those pregnant women are all missing out. They're all missing out because they don't get to wear the beautiful maternity dress that fits them just gorgeous. And you know, the like celebrity, celebrity photo shoots where you think, God, that mummy looks really, really glowing. And finding something it's a bit like picking a prom dress isn't it you take pride in it and you want to look amazing and this is normally the time that when you're having your baby shower you get to put your posh frock on you might have someone round to do your hair you know make you feel special hi sam are you all right my lovely hi felicity so apart from so that baby shower and everybody likes a party and a get together and, you know, a big birthday with an O on it. You know, we all like to make a fuss. We all like, even when we're not a kid, don't we like to have a, I mean, much, birthdays are much the muchness, aren't they? But when you have a big special birthday, don't we still, tiny little piece of us likes when you've 
when you've rented a room and someone's made you a fancy cake and you feel really special because you've got your posh frock on. So the reason I'm te telling you this is this is what pregnant mums are missing out on. It's been taken away. And you know what's a hard thing? is because a lot of those decent... Oh, yeah, we don't fall out that often. That's what my sister's just sent me a message. I know we don't. I know we don't. But do you remember that time when we did fall out at an, um, at an ex um, Coronation Street actor's house? I was trying to make a good impression, but it went a bit wrong, didn't it, Zena? Do you remember? I think that's the only time we've had a really bad fallout, is it? <laughs> oh, you've got to laugh, haven't you? You've got to laugh. I bet she thinks we're a right bunch of crazy cranks. No wonder I'm a crank. Anyway, so baby showers. Baby showers. The hardest thing about the baby showers is because most decent mummies, decent human beings, as most of us are, sit at home thinking... I should be really, really lucky. I should think myself really lucky. I am really lucky. I'm pregnant with a baby. Lots of people, you know, don't have babies that want babies. I should be so grateful. I should be gr so grateful that I'm, I'm healthy and I should be so happy that, you know, um, I'm not really poorly with coronavirus. But the truth is, is that even thinking about it like that and even, even saying to yourself... Um, you know, even even though you, you think, oh, I'm so lucky that I've not got coronavirus, I'm so lucky that I'm all right at home on my own and I'm shielding or whatever, you know, but, but it's kind of like a conflicting thought because they probably will have had that thought thinking, but I can't have a baby shower, but I can't go out in my nice dress. But people can't make a fuss of me. But people won't know I'm pregnant. But I won't get to enjoy this special time. You know, some I won't get the privilege of somebody getting up on and letting me have their seat because it just makes you feel a little bit special. But so a lot of pregnant will, women will be having these thoughts that are perfectly natural and normal, but then beating themselves up because they're thinking, well, you shouldn't think like that, should you? You shouldn't think like that because you, you should be just grateful that you, you're not ill or whatever. So it is, you've got those conflicting thoughts that are just are really, really difficult because you're missing out on what other pregnant mummies have had. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous butterfly. So, and as well, what I was going to explain to you is sometimes, as part of my job, sometimes when we have mummies who, um, who sadly, for whatever reason, have to have a caesarean section under gen general anaesthetic, you know, sometimes what we have, as, have to do as part of their recovery from that operation is do what we call a debrief. So... What that means is is that very often if you've had a general anaesthetic and it wasn't planned, you have a and this goes for any any operation that you might have that you have to have a general anaesthetic, a piece of your life is effectively missing. So sometimes what we need to do is we need to go through notes and explain to mums exactly what happened during the time that they were asleep in their operation, and it just helps the brain process things. So I think it's really, really, really important at this time that, Bailey, you're so needy. You are so needy. You really are. I oh, know there's no show without punches there. Two of them. I'm going to have to get some more treats. We're running out, aren't we? So what I think and what I worry about sometimes is that that period of pregnancy, puppy needs attention. I know, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. So, you know, that part of, it's like, it feels like to me that my sister's not really been pregnant. You know, a couple of times, it's almost like just been a flash in the pan. It's been nine months she's been pregnant and it feels like, it feels like it didn't even happen. You know, so I'd, goodness only knows how, how pregnant women actually really feel when they go to bed and nobody's seen them pregnant nobody's got to enjoy their pregnancy journey the only people that be, they've been seen is the partner and people who they live with people in the bubble and their midwife you know i've probably seen more of the pregnant ladies than than their family so 
this is a tiny little thing by planning a baby shower for pregnant mums and you know I don't know who's watching this whether it's people who know people that are pregnant people you know there's always friends and family members that that ha have babies and stuff so I think this is why doing this for them you know they might not expect anything they might not you know if if they've got a partner who's not very good at organising stuff, you know, that's where friends, family, relatives, you know, can step up. And so hopefully going through these bits will help give you some ideas uh, on how to make a little, a little special day for them, a little special day. And what I would do is what I think is a really good thing, you know, a bit like... Um, a hen do where where you'll um you'll plan the day out you know the better a planner you are the better you know they're going to have a better day so i'd be planning i'd be planning things out time by time that you do this do that so i've found i'll shut up and get on so what you're doing is making up for a little bit of lost time hi sarah hi nadia hi hi mandy are you all right let me turn this light on it's gone that dark hasn't it that anyway so i've got here i printed it off i think this is the link that i posted to my page that i found that i thought oh that's handy it's um by rocky horse photography so presumably she's just been she offers a service so look it up if you're interested but a really really helpful and she's sarah brown written last year april last year so it says do you know it's not the easiest time during the this global pandemic but she says but there is also an amazing silver line of getting some extra time at home before baby comes to prepare for a baby or to get those special moments in with older children so one of the things we're missing out on is a baby shower so we know that we didn't nobody who knew about zoom before all of this happened so i am in case you hadn't noticed a proper technophobe technophobe so i am the person i am mrs creative but i'm not mrs technology i can't even i wouldn't even know how to set up a zoom call i've been on them and you click on the link and but i can't do i can't do it so hopefully you've got somebody in your little tribe there will be there's somebody you know that knows how to set it up so you can have apparently you can have 40 minutes and if it runs out on your zoom call for your zoom virtual baby shower apparently you just sign in or you create a paid paid for account but you shouldn't need to do that right number two tip decorate the room decorate the room so we're going to go on to that and these are just all really really simple things but have a look at the guide that i've i've put on nadia what's that I can't watch that little emoji. I can't. How good do you think my eyes are? Anyway, so the second, third one on here, offer refreshments and snacks. Now, you are going to have to have, um, and if you're a pregnant lady, I hope, show this, share it, this page, and hopefully some of your friends or family can watch it and just say, please organise. Don't be, be cheeky. Be cheeky. Say, please, will you organise me a virtual baby shower? And then then either somebody will or you'll be disappointed oh a waving lady <laughs> my eyes are going i need my glasses really i don't use them enough anyway so refreshments and snacks right it says and now clearly you won't be catering for all your guests physically so here are some fun options around virtual catering share a cocktail mocktail um, recipe so i think when new mummies um they, they're not they're not allowed to drink alcohol they're not allowed to drink alcohol and that's the best advice no alcohol please but I, when um i've made my daughter a um a mocktail before and I, I just it's the way you present it it's the glass that you put it in it's just it's all about making you feel special so you know a lot of people have cocktail glasses or fancy glasses and I kid you not, the internet, Google, you just have to put it in. Mocktails. You know, mocktail. I think I might just have a have a little look and see what I can find for you. But it's just 
these virtual baby showers, as far as I can see, are just about organisation, organisation. And there's usually someone in your little tribe that's a proper organiser. I'm all right. I can just about manage. But, you know, it says that everyone can make together with simple ingredients, all can buy in. So, you know, you might just have a fancy straw in it. It might just be orange juice. It might just be orange juice and lemonade. It might just be that you get yourself a, you know, or I'm speaking about thinking about the people. It'd be the partners. So what I think you need to do is some blokes are really good and some partners are really good. Um, but I always think girls are better than boys at being a bit organised, especially baby showers, because I wonder whether blokes really understand what it means to, you know, that sense, that that thought that you've some blokes are amazing. But I think women tend to be a little bit better at going, do you know what? It's like it's like me and my sister-in-law have a competition. Who can who can make my mum cry at Christmas? And you've just got to give her a, a load of things with pictures of the family on. You know, like the photo books you can get and stuff. And she always does cry. It's a bit mean, really, isn't it? Are you falling off there, Maddie? Anyway, so it's all about the shared experience. And we can't, if we had our way, we'd all have, go round to somebody's house with a big living room, sit round with, with those, those sashes on, mother to be and all that lot. You know, we can't do that. So we've just, they don't what? I can't, I, your comments are falling behind. I noticed them 10 minutes later. They don't what, Zina, you'll have to tell me. Any, any road up, any road up. So it's maybe the person that's the, you've got like your coordinator so the person who's organizing it so uh, what i would do is you try and get people hopefully a surprise um men think about baby showers they don't they don't because it's just more hassle for them to be honest and i know my husband would have never organized me a baby shower but they weren't really a thing then anyway but so i think you need a, a coordinator try and get people on board you now if the woman only lives with um her partner if that's a woman then you quids in because i'm guessing the woman's she's gonna be pretty good at doing this you've got her on your side if if partner is a bloke then i think you're gonna have to spoon feed him i think you're gonna have to spoon feed him so what you're gonna need if if partner is a woman, then hopefully she can take the reins and sort out stuff. And that that's easier, really. If partner is a bloke, I think what you need is a coordinator who is a woman. And you're going to tell me about some blokes that are super, super organisers and would sort out the most amazing baby shower. But I'd love to know them. Get a coordinator to basically... Do a list of things and just say, don't think about it, just do it. So what that might mean is you're in charge of ordering the stuff off the internet. And at least we're, we're lucky to have those things. If you can get all the, if you can source things locally, even better. But I'm going to show you with you what I've, I've found on the internet. But so you might have your um, little recipe card for you know, or print it off the internet or whatever, or send them a link for your mocktail or your cocktail. Um, but it's just making the mummy feel really special. <clears throat> Excuse me. Order a platter of food for delivery to each guest. I think if I was organising another one, I don't think I'd do that. Although you can't, there's delivery and just eat. Some people might think that's easier, but it sounds like quite an expensive option for me. But you could just say... You know what? When we go on our Zoom call, let's all just eat sandwiches that we've cut up into triangles so it looks posh and have a little bit of a garnish on the side. Or let's all have egg mayonnaise butties or whatever. But, you know, have our, all our... You know, like, though, you, you get your um, posh um, cream tea, things like that, cream tea. Everyone can do stuff like that, can't they? You know, it's just... You know, it's just being organised so you're not going out to the supermarket, especially for stuff. But you're getting stuff, you, you're 
getting this stuff for your baby shower when you're doing your normal shop so you're not going out specially because we've got to be good and respect the rules right so you could send each guest a recipe to create in advance so that everyone's eating the same meal you could do that you could say well we'll all just have a curry we're all going to make a curry or you, you know you could organize something like that oh hang on let me just sort out this glue gun i've got this glue gun going here need to not forget about that don't i right play number four play virtual party games and i'm going to show you some of the things that i've printed off i'm going to try and put a link onto one of the ones that i thought was really good and it says things like nursery rhyme bingo baby charades oh now i like this game my best friend's did me lauren i'm reading my best friends did me a baby virtual shower last weekend at zoom it was lovely few hours gave me my other half instructions to set up the living room boom that's what i'm talking about lauren that is exactly what i'm talking about you need to give him step-by-step -step instructions so you know this might be the one video that you share on your on your facebook page you know and say can you please watch this because if somebody's if a pregnant woman has put this, shared this on her page, I'm guessing it's because she wants you to take the hint that she'd really like you to organise a baby shower for her. And if you don't, and she, and she shared it on her page, she's going to be very, very disappointed and you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Right, next game. I love this. I love this. This has got to be the funniest one. In our family, it was pretty easy. I've got to say, guess the baby photo. So what you need to do, everybody who's part of the baby shower, the virtual baby shower, dig out, um, dig out baby photographs of yourself. And then what you're going to have to do, because you can't mingle and what have you. But we've got these amazing phone devices that you can take pictures of everything and just send them. So you would take a picture of your baby picture, send it to your coordinator and then hopefully they, they're the ones that can collate everything. And the coordinator of the baby shower might want to delegate somebody to sort out the putting together the video or the um, the baby photographs to send to the partner. And then hopefully the partner can either print them out or just put them together on a screen for her to look at. But that's, that's a lovely game. And it, anything that makes the mummy laugh it's really good for her hormones you know it's good and you know that she feels special and one of the things one of the things that i think is so lovely and we got for uh, my sister and her husband are uh, sashes mummy to be and daddy to be and and they were you know really inexpensive i got a i got a pack i'll tell you what was in my pack excuse me in a moment i should have got a brew shouldn't i anyway any road up let's hope i don't lose my voice for talking too much hi megan Hi, Megan and Megan. Hi, Carla. Do you know, Carla, I haven't seen you for ages. And you know what? We didn't always work together. But wasn't it good when we had our knees up at Christmas and we had a right good get together? We haven't had that, have we? Anyway, that's beside the point. I told you I um, go off on tangents. So guess the baby photo. And right. This is my favourite bit on this, this list. Get crafting. Ask guests to make something to contribute to the baby's nursery for example this is really sweet and if you're not a crafty sort of person it's the thought that counts i mean you can get something on internet you can get something on internet and that's fine you know but if you make something what i love about homemade things is they're really funny if they turn out wrong they're really funny <laughs> aren't they some of the things i've made rubbish proper rubbish my friend penny in france i made her a little cuddly penguin and it was awful i'm gonna vow to make her another one because it's practice isn't it and i she, she probably likes it because it's so rubbish <laughs> anyway but it says for example decoupage letters to spell baby's name for the shelf you know you can get i know you can get in places like um hobby craft you can get um you know like cardboard things can't you that you just stick um like wrapping paper and you know 
page whatever you've got might be photographs that you've put together of mummy when she's a baby that's a good idea isn't it so get some of those letters if you know the baby's name you might not know the baby's name but you'd have to ask you'd have to ask partner um to help you out with that one but hobby craft you're going to be able to get some supplies from there so decoupage letters you could do decoupage letters um to say mummy or something like that or best mummy you know tell her for her to put in a nursery on the shelf best mummy you know anything like that it's just the thought isn't it even if it's even if it turns out rubbish that's why we like things that our kids make that is why we like things that our kids make because they're not all always amazing are they but you love them because you, you can feel the good energy that's gone into making it can't you you know anyway hobby craft and so let me show you right i'll come back to have i got let's have a look right i'm gonna i'll come to things that that i've got to make i'll show you um crafting and you've got number six here baby boy girl reveal you'd have to talk to um partner in detail about that I'm not going to go into it because there's loads and loads and loads of ideas. You just have to type it gender reveal on in YouTube and there's loads of I don't know. But it's a good a good time to do it, isn't it? Um, in a cake, using a, a cake to reveal the gender. And it says on here, number seven. Now, I'm not keen on this idea. It says name the, the baby's middle name. If you're leaving the middle name... To, to your friends to pick you can give them a small selection of pre-vetted names to vote on each person casts one vote using the chat function and then you add up the votes i'm not i, I wouldn't be having that you'd end up with what was that boat called boaty mcboat face wouldn't you you'd have something like that wouldn't you you would if it was my husband was left to look after it so i'm not sure about that but this next suggestion is what i do like I love this suggestion and it's something that I'd not thought of myself. Hi, Heather. Hi, Anne. It says, invite an expert. I love that idea. I love that idea. It says, to give everyone an online experience, this could be a nail technician, hairdresser or beautician who can teach DIY skills via the video call or or someone more entertaining like a magician or comedian. Not sure the magician or comedian, but you know, might have Marie, my hairdresser, come on and go, this is how you cut your fringe. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? That'd be funny. But do you know what? It might be somebody who just, you're probably going to have a friend that knows how to do something or it might just show you um, how to give a hand massage or something like that. I know one of our wonderful midwives, um, Jane, she does hand massages and things like that. And it's just things like that. Get the partner get the partner involved in giving a nice hand massage because it's just the power of touch is what we're missing so if there's a couple of you on the zoom call together you know you get get your beautician doing a bit of a hand massage or something i like that or whatever else they can do it says about gifts i'm not going to read the thing about gift registry because i don't like that idea i don't like that idea but, you know, you can do whatever you want. Right. Record the moment for baby's memory box or book. Capture screen grabs. So when you're having your Zoom call, that's all you need to do. I found that function on mine. You just capture it, go whoop, like that. Press a button and it captures it. So I've got loads of captured memories of my sister's baby shower all on Zoom. Because you know, don't you, in two or three or four or five years time, we're going to look back at these memories and go, seriously, do you remember when everything that we did was over Zoom call or Facebook Messenger or whatever, whatever, you know, keep those memories because they seem... They don't have a right lot of value at the time. It's when you look back over things and remember about me saying that piece of a mum's pregnancy has almost been lost. So we don't want to lose that special time because you're only pregnant for nine months. It's gone, but it's a big deal when you're pregnant. It's such a big deal and you want it to be special and you want to remember your special time. Right, so it says here... 
if you if would you like a personal id invite e invite to send to guests so this woman on here i put the link on she does she does stuff like that which is really good there's loads of reviews and testimonials if you've got loads of money and you want to do that that'd be amazing um but if you're like me i'm trying i'll just make me own just make me own because as you, as you see when it goes wrong and it's a bit rubbish it's funny right so i'm going to show you um some of the oh dogs have gone to sleep now bored of me now right virtual packages you have only got to put in virtual baby shower into um google and it comes up with all sorts of things it took me actually to etsy so i'm going to show you these that i found so these first two i quite like the look of them etsy so that top one £10.37, complete baby shower set. And then you've got that one there, £10.80. These are all on Etsy. And this one here, £7.19, browse yourself, but it's um, eight, fun, eight fun rounds. So that last one with eight fun rounds, it's um, it's a download. So it's just a download. I don't, I don't know whether these other ones actually send you anything. And ideal for shared screen. But they're so good. So I started looking at those and thought they look good. And then I found this one. And this one is on Etsy. And I love this because... Let me put that like that so I can see it. Um, complete virtual baby shower bundle. Just because I, I proper like that little. Isn't it cute, that? So you might be able to see what it says. Um, virtual baby shower, full bundle. I think social. I think there were things on there that I quite liked because there was stuff to print. So some of the stuff to print was this. So you've got virtual baby shower guide. And then it's got... Oh, I can't see. It shows you how you can... Like your um, baby shower invites can either be sent on the phone or printed out which I quite I quite like the fact that you get the option because some oldies like me always like things written down there's a list of games in the bundle so you've got the prices right right Price is right, guessing the price of things like nappies and stuff like that. Home scavenger hunt. So that one, I think, just a game where you're going around the house um, finding objects. Guess who, mummy or daddy? I'm guessing that's um, baby pictures. Who knows mummy best? Baby predictions and advice. Celebrity baby names. So you've got pics. And they're all on there. I think that's it there. Celebrity baby names. You've got to match them up. Children's book emoji pictionary baby scramble baby mad libs how big is mummy's belly oh i'm not sure i like that one guess how many and home treasure hunt so on the whole i think there's some really sweet games on that one so i quite like that and that bundle what was it it's not that you know when they send it to you 12 pound you're gonna be able to kill more than 40 minutes on your thingy on that aren't you hi louise hi heather Hi Natasha, so Etsy, £12.19, I like that one, I just think it's really cute things to, to send out. Right, what am I going on to now? Right, so we've talked about getting partners involved and one of the lovely things to do is this, I tell you what, it's not doing anything for my bags under my eyes, that is it? Anyway, um, get everybody in the group to send a voice message now i know you can phone them up and speak to them anyway but if you can get someone and someone's done it a couple of times I, I, did i manage to do it for my sister i think i did i managed to put it together you just have to youtube how to do it and there's certain applications i did it for my sister's journey into hospital and having the baby that was just with photographs but you get someone to knit all their little um short videos and and i think it's a good idea to specify how long it's supposed to be because i think mine went on too long and then i ended up it was hard work to send it anyway anyway i'm going to share with you one of the um messages with the permission of my lovely friend sam 
um, that I've sent to her. I think I even had this dress on and it had Bailey in it. So I'm going to share it. It had Bailey in it having a little tea party and I was giving her advice on how to look after a baby. So I'm going to share that with you. But um, I think the quality is deteriorated a little bit but you should still be able to see it because it's funny because he's got a, like a minion hat on it's really funny i think he had a minion hat on and a yellow top i don't know what i thought i was dressing up him up like but it didn't seem to mind anyway so i sent that and it's just the the quality's deteriorated because i've sent it to her and then i've lost my copy and then she sent it back anyway i'll send see if it'll upload anyway right um decorate decorating the room this is the charlie did the video message montag oh did she i can't remember yes yeah, she did you see i can't remember what i did last week never mind a few months ago um decorating your room i love this and hopefully i've got some to show you where's the ones of xena's right here's xena's right to be honest with you I could have gone more over the top with Zena's baby shower, but I think she was just she was just touched that there was something there that was a bit of a surprise, really. So this looks like a bit of a celebrity one. Can you see that? That looks well all out. She's obviously having a baby boy. But I quite like those little heart-shaped um, raindrops in the background. And I thought, that wouldn't that be lovely if you got um, people to say things to the mum and you could just write them on those and just hang them up so just depends how much um time you've got to prepare but what i do think is lovely can you see the bunting there if anybody can be bothered to make bunting with positive birth affirmations i made some for my sister new mum ones but you can you could look for just look for quotes for mummies to be you know that's just something that bunting makes everything look special doesn't it so then there's this one here. This looks like it's a bit crafty. I quite like that. So all those like welcome little ones that you can buy those on the internet, just um, just little cardboard ones, or you could just print them out yourselves. But I quite like that. That just looks like it's just material, but they're like um, dream catchers, which is quite cute. So just to show you different ideas, and this one, this one's really cute. And the reason I like that one, welcome baby. I just think it looks so sweet. There's um, little gifts and things there. There's little, these little um, bunny rabbits here. The reason I like those is because I'm going to have a go at making one of those. So I'm going to have a go at making a rabbit with floppy ears. So can you imagine if you made a sock bunny with fluffy ears fluffy floppy ears like that right so we'll try i don't know when i'll get round to do it but i will somebody made one of those and mum picked it up and, and it said oh this was made by your best friend or that'd get a crying that'd have a crying because it's just the thought that somebody we're, we're locked down we can't get out to shops we can't get to card shops you know so we've got to just make things out of fluffy socks and this one, I liked this one because it was a bit of a theme. So if you can be bothered to do little themes, what does that say there? I can't say. If I was a honeybee, wild and free, I would want you to be my flower. I just think it's really lovely. Now, where the heck you'd get those um, those um, honeybee little shelf things there? I don't know. With cupcakes in them. But... You know, you don't have to go that far. I think the um, theme's quite sweet, though. And there's another one here. This is um, another bee, bee theme one. Sweet as can be. That's another baby shower. You could have something like that for a party, though. And, you know, anybody who's got a printer can print out. You know, I know you can order um, online from places like Ryman's. Ryman's you'll be able to get um, card supplies from. But it's just nice, isn't it? You know, you could see where it says sweet as can be. Whatever you want to write for the mummy. If you've got a printer, you can you can do a like a, an, an A4, print out one letter and that you can stick that with blue tack on the wall. Get dad to, you know, if you've got 
an organiser or crafty person in your little group, you know, you can get print one letter on or one or two letters on an A4 sheet and that you can stick that on the on the um, on the wall. You know, you might have to organise mummy to be to be, you know, going to the you know, clinical, well, well, whatever, going to, where would you you'd have to think about where you're going to send her to, maybe supermarket to get this shopping, but then you don't want to be carrying loads of stuff, you'd have to have a think how you're going to, you might have to get partner to take mum out and then get somebody to, well, you'd have to, you'd have, you have to have a good think about these um, things to keep it COVID safe, but there is, where there's a will, there's a way, and I've printed off this one because, I thought this one was the most simple one that I could find, but it still looks lovely, right? And and I've printed that one off because what I think is really nice, if you can't like decorate a whole room, just get a table, put a tablecloth on it because tablecloths make everything look better, don't they? So, and balloons, a lot of people like balloons because they make things look like party, but I'm well aware that, Balloons are becoming more and more un PC and not very environmentally friendly. So I saw that and I thought, oh, those um, tissue pom poms, those tissue pom poms, they're just tissue paper. And I remembered that me and my daughter, she's going to kill me for taking this out. This is about, this has got to be about five years old and it's still hanging up in a bedroom and I've just pulled it off a ceiling. But, I mean, it's been a bit squashed, to be fair. So in a minute, I'm going to show you how to make one of those because they are really, really super easy. And I'm going to quickly show you how we set my sister's um, room up. So that was my sister's room. So we did have balloons, but they came as part of a pack. And you can see there, we've got a little sash. We had one um, mummy-to-be, one... Uh, daddy to be so you can see there we put out some I've got some nice fresh bread and in that stripy box are all foodie treats I think we got um dad's favorite cheeses little nibbles for mum I think I got a punnet of strawberries and and I made a cake now with everything that I do I just got it up on the internet and I just saw this cake it's not amazing but what i did do is i made um a two-tier one let me show you so that's the cake that i i made that now as you can see i did buy a cake topper so that cake topper i think it's like some kind of acrylic stuff because i thought i know how much my sister likes tat she likes keep saving tat and she'll save that forever i just think that's another little keepsake and that cake it was there was little silver balls pressed in and those lines I did with a, a knife. Obviously, I had to order the fondant icing type thing um, on the internet, but I only had to get two colours. Um, so she really liked that. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'll do the making things at the end because you might not be interested in that. Um but I'll, I'll show you that some of the cake options that I thought were were simple-ish. Right, so we've got... Look, my, my phone seems to have gone right over there. Right, so I don't know whether you can see this better with the light on or the light off. Right, that one there. You can go for something really quite simple. The reason I've printed that one off is because I'm guessing that's... I don't know how they've done that... Um, They've obviously pushed something through some um, marshmallow type stuff. But that's just a square case uh, cake. And that horsey thing, you can you can order things off um, slice, it's called. Little animals and things like that. And then you've got like, you can do this for birthday cakes as well. It just means you don't have to make the thing and um, it makes it look good. A flump, yeah, a flump, a massive long flump. Right, and I quite like that because, you know, you might want to have a go at making a little teddy bear like that. But you just have to Google stuff. And there you go, bunting to make something look special. 
quite like that and that actually I think that's quite effective but it's obviously two round cakes and another smaller one cut in, into arm shapes so I quite like that one so and and if you can't do anything you know just too plain or am I going to get a cake well I don't know Charlie are you if you ask for if you ask me for things you won't get one you just have to see what you get right but one what i'm showing you that one for is you can get the little cake toppers where that one says oh baby that's just simple 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 you know you can just get a cake topper anyway what i've done is printed off if you if you're called helena brown right and you're a amazing amazing cake maker i really like these how cute are those they're obviously ones that you can buy Helena, are you going to start making some of these? Oh, look how cute that is. It's not even focused, is it? Look at that with the woodland animals. Oh, how cute is that? Now, there's no way on this planet I'd be tackling something like that. But, you know, I know how good some of you are doing, doing at making your cakes and stuff. And you've got all the, all the time in lockdown to have a practice. Right, so. Oh, it's giving me bad shadows, that light. I'm not going to do any ne negative self-talk though. Right, these are a couple that I thought were really... You might think these are a bit freaky, but I thought they were quite cute. Oh, look at those. They are they're fondant um, cake toppers as far as I know. But just have a look. Aren't they cute, those? And then I, I couldn't help if you were a bit of a... <laughs> if you are a bit of a minion freak, how was that one? A little minion baby. Hi, Charlie. I see. Right, so, and then I had to print out some. You can actually buy, you can actually buy these. I think they're called, I don't know what they're called, Cake Devils or something like this. And it did make me chuckle because it seems that they get this um, little baby thing, right? D definitely freaky. Shut up, Zena. Hey, Zena, wait till you see these ones that I was... I was in the house on my own, laughing my head off this morning, looking at these. Right, so there's this one here, right? And it seems that this cake company can dress up your baby as anything you like. So we've got a little basketball one there. I think that's pretty cre creepy, but, you know, a little baseball one. And then you've got one there with some teddy bear ears. Now, I, I just thought that was funny because... I, thought it was who's gonna dress baby dressed up as a baseball player right are you ready to laugh are you ready to laugh Zena? these are actually on the internet right so mini plastic babies you can get 100 of these you can get 100 of that or you can get one of these look at him there Look in there! I wish somebody would make me a cake with one of them on. I love his goggly eyes. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Look at that one there. So these are some of my freaky best ones. So and that um I'm really not sure about that baby with red lipstick on. All bog eyed, they are all bog eyed. But it's funny, Zena, isn't it? Look at that one! Charlie, I'm gonna make you a cake with with this one on. Is that all right? Or or would you prefer that one on it with red lipstick on? <laughs> oh, you still got your butterfly wings. Shall I take them off? Oh, let me take them off. Let me take your wings off. Let me take your butterfly wings off. Oh, dear me. Right, hang on. Let's put that up there. Where's your... Sorry, you know what it's like when you've got little babies and distracting you. Hello. Right, so, oh, and i tell you what else, what else, right, we're on to things that you can make, right, so, I quite liked this, what, we're talking about keepsake, so if you can, she'll be having nightmares that a baby's going to come, <laughs> that to be my whole cake, I want that to be my whole cake, <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna put. That. I'm gonna send you that, Charlie. Say which one do you want me? <laughs> it's hilarious. 
Right. I'm, I'm, look at it. Look at me curls here. Can't you tell I've done it myself? I've not had my daughter doing it for me. Right. Anyway. Anyway. Right. This is a lovely idea. I'm being serious now. You can get these. I found this on the website Zazzle. So it was £16.80 and you can get it personalised, such and such, Chantel's baby shower and the date on it. And you can have it in either lined or dotted or whatever. Right. Or, hello, 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 hello. Or, and I had this, I'd, I bought a couple of these a while ago and I used one for photographs. This is from Paper Chase, right? So this has got a nice little tie. You could use this for any any. This is not to eat, is it? It's not to eat. Why are you pushing in, Bailey? Right. Anyway, so it's got a nice little thingy, but you could use that for anything, and you could print off, or you could customize and do your own little cover. That you know, most people have printers, don't they? That you can put your own little stamp on things, but. If you're doing something like that, I was thinking, well, normally, under normal circumstances, you would get people to, um, what time is it? Oh, I've been going on a while, haven't I? Just over an hour. Um, you would normally get people, oh, are they rubbish? Oh, well, just, if that's all are rubbish. I think I've got stuff from them before. I think I might have just had to wait a long time for it to come. Is it rubbish, Zena? Anyway, there's loads and loads. Of, that was just one that I liked the cover of it. There's loads and loads of um, different ones you can buy online. But if you would normally pass it around all your friends, get them to write in it like they do at red weddings and things like that. What I would do is ask. What you could do is you could get people to send you a text and then just write it in the book. But what I think would make it really, really special because people... There's something special in handwritten, isn't there? So what I would do is ask, if you're the organiser of this baby shower, I would ask all the people you've got in your group to handwrite, handwrite with a pen, a lovely message of encouragement and love and take a photograph of the handwritten message with your phone and then send it to them. And then the person or partner can get them all um, on the computer. Hopefully somebody will have a computer that you can just print them off the, you know, the little attachments of the handwritten notes and stick them in, stick them in, um, print stick, you know, and you know, any funny photographs that you people have got together, you can just stick in to just make it lovely. So that's our um, books. And also what I thought was a lovely idea is these are some that I've made. You're not going to be able to see what they say, but this one says breathing strength to keep going. Breathe out all that tension, tension, release and blow away. So you could make and I think I've made some before um, that I've given to people. I think I might have given Zena some that says you are amazing and brilliant and lovely. Never forget that you're going to be the best mummy and your baby is lucky to have you. So these are like little credit card ones that I just printed off. And this one says, you can do this because you are strong. Your body grew a baby from a teeny weeny bunch of cells and your body will birth your baby to continue this amazing journey. You've got this. Keep smiling. So you can you can look up birth aff affirmations everywhere. So that is so simple. But with it being like little credit card size and you can just draw out, measure the size of a credit card. But what you can do as a little gift for the mummy for the baby shower is it doesn't matter if you make one, four, ten or twenty. They are so important on a on a lockdown mummy's journey to keep looking at. And if that's come from somebody, a friend or somebody she loves or, you know, somebody who cares about her, that means even more. And um, just something that I pulled out of my making box are these little, um, these little, I think they're called pillow boxes. So they would fit beautifully into there if you made a few of them, you know, and even if, if you haven't got a printer, it doesn't matter. You can get some card from from off, a, off a, on over the internet and you can put them in there 
and they're just so lovely and you could get mummy to keep those when she's having a bad day open a little box of positive affirmations and if you remember what i said about affirmations affirmations are should be true so nothing saying i am going to be a millionaire i'm going to be a millionaire next week that ain't going to work but tell her something she already knows to be true that she is amazing she is lovely and she is wonderful because i'm pretty sure she's going to have had times in her life where she thought she was all right so just remind her when she's having a bad day she can look at those so i think that's a really nice little thing that you can make and and right i'm just going to quickly quickly show you this that i made because i i saw them they were called love bugs these right and i meant to make it meant to it was meant to be one of my valentine's makes but i didn't i didn't get around to it in time so anyway i had a look how you make them and you're gonna laugh at this right so do you like him i know you've seen him you've seen him on my little story haven't you right i don't know what i haven't decided i think this one's called peachy little peachy now can you imagine decorating your little fancy table in um for your baby shower with loads of those now if you want if anybody wants me to show you how to make those i'll show you how to make them but basically it's it's easier than a pom-pom to make and that's just a little can you see that little sash new mummy you'll be amazing so you can stick positive birth stuff everywhere and it's gonna help that mummy when she needs it most when she's having a bit of a not so great day and just to remind her that everyone cares about her and every everyone's got f sending love and sending good vibes and this here right underneath can you see it's a thingy it's a what's the name i did have some before what have, I, what have i done with them it's a toilet roll so if anybody wants me to show you how to make those i'll show you how to make those hi kasha so i just think they're hilarious as i've said before anything with goggly eyes is hilarious right so we're going to go on to something a bit more sensible i'm going to show you how to make those what's the names i don't know what i'm talking about oh and by the way before we do this i've gone sock teddy mad and you've seen me make them i've done a step-by-step -step tutorial on making them you can make these out of a out of a fluffy sock so you've seen this one pierre that I made for my husband now at the time when i made jeffrey the first one holding the daisies i know a couple of people asked me if if i get the chance could i make them one and i think i said yeah yeah okay I, um send some money to the my charity page my just giving page but i've not been able to get hold of i think i've mentioned it before i've got all these fluffy socks right that i've ordered on off, on the internet all these fluffy socks right i've got another couple of packets of them and the, and i can't get i can't for the life of me get hold of a proper teddy bear color so i've only i've only made this one for the husband because he whinged about me giving jeffrey away so i made him one for valentine's day so you've seen that and and because i haven't got another color i've made this one and i don't know what he's called yet right so the reason i've made a green one is because i haven't got any other colors well i have got loads of colors but i haven't got a teddy bear color and i've made that for somebody who is starting a new job so he's not finished yet he's going to be holding a four leaf clover and i thought well, i can get away with that being green i can get away with him being green so he's not finished but they're so i sit and i've made that just in front of the telly and i'm not gonna i've decided i'm not gonna make any for people to buy because i because they keep turning out all different so i can't guarantee the quality of them he looks very different to him he's like short and fat and he's taller so i i don't really want to tie myself down to making them um making them to sell because sometimes they turn out all right and sometimes they turn out a right state anyway i was telling you about that birthday that i forgot i forgot my sister-in-law's birthday now i know she won't be watching this because you don't don't know facebook right 
and I and I forgot her birthday. And I was only on a Zoom call to her and um and she said she's got this massive fancy cup and I said, Oh, that's a nice cup. She said, Yeah. She said, I got it for my birthday. And I thought, Oh no. I've forgot someone else's birthday. I forgot someone else's birthday. So I'm going to organise to send her something because it's better late than never. So I've got her a card. And I thought, I'm going to... Do you know what? She's just started her own business, right? And the, her corporate colour is... Um, and it's called... Just ask Miss Miffy, it's called. Now, um, let me put that there. So her corporate colours are, are red. So I've tried me bit i can't get a fluffy i can't get a fluffy red sock so i've had to make a one and it's it's out of a a red sock i'm not happy about this because it looks like he's got a pair of gray knickers on but it's the best i could do under the circumstances because i can't really get out to browse for presents but he is a little jam jam teddy bear and I'm going to make him be holding a little tiny miniature because her company's initials are J-A-M, just ask Miffy. Um, I'm going to make him so he's holding a little jam jar and he doesn't look very cute at the moment, but he will do when I've finished. He will. All that rubbish sewing round his neck that you can disguise with the um, fluffy ones. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to tie a bow around his neck and you'll never know any different. Anyway, so anybody who says they can't make things, you can. Right, now what I'm going to show you, see if I can adjust the angle. See if I can adjust the angle. I'm going to show you how to make this effort, this effort here. Because I've just, I forgot how I'd made it. But they're so see, super, super easy. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to be rushing. Right, so you're doing this thing here. Make it like, you know, when you made a fan at school. Like this. I'm going to show you how to make it. So bear with me. And if you're watching, Zena, what do you love? What do you love? So, so bear with me. Now, this is tissue paper. So I already had tissue paper. And you can usually get hold of tissue paper as part of, um, you know, wrapping bits and bobs. So I don't know whether they sell them in the supermarkets, but they will sell them in um, if you look at places like Ryman's online. So this here. Right. So can you see what I've done? So there's several doodars there, several sheets. I don't know how many I've got, but maybe about six or something. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to use string just to tie it in the middle. And actually, actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it a longer bit and then it can hang up. So let's do a longer bit and then I can hang it up. I don't want to lose my needle because I need to finish that jam there. Oh, I spoil, spoil the surprise, won't I, if Miffy watches this? She won't watch it, though. She only does Instagram. My sister-in-law. She'll be busy. She, watch, she hasn't got time to watch crafting videos of me. Right, let's see. You're going to have to tie it fairly tight. Let's see. Right, so you can see. Where's my scissors? Where's my scissors? Right, I just think these are so super duper easy. So that's concertina, like in a fan shape. Right, then what we're going to do, and I need my sharp scissors for this. I don't know whether it'll cut all the way around this. Right, so what shape you want like this is this. So you draw this, draw that shape, because they're going to make the petals fancy. And then, I'm not going to be able to cut through this, am I? Let's see if I can use my dressmaker scissors. They're a bit more, they're a bit more hardcore. Don't cut your fingers though. Don't cut your fingers. You might, I've probably done too many layers actually, but I've cut that like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. These are another little crafty little tip to 
keep kids occupied. Me and my, me and my daughter, when we first made these about five years ago, we really enjoyed making them because it looks so rubbish. It doesn't look like much when you're doing this bit, but when you open it all out, it looks really good, she says. So I've cut that into a pointy bit like that. So open it out like that. And like that. So you do, do one side at once, Claire. Do one side at once. Right, so open it out like that. These are for your lockdown sh baby shower. Can you see? We've got nice little petal shapes. Oh, look at my fingers. Look. So you're just separate, separating them out like this. Can you see? So we've got... Honestly, they look really rubbish until you've got them all done. So you're just going round. Oh, that wind. Can't get these open. I'm... Right, so I'm showing you that and then I'm going to show you how to make another couple of things. But let's just, let's, bear with me. Bear with me. The pom-pom bug. that you can have that Zena if you want you can have that pom-pom bug but I'll show everybody else it's every I tell you what things with things with um goggly eyes are just hilarious you'll find that if you print off a picture and stick some goggly eyes on on someone eee, the fun I have. my husband will come home today to tonight and he'll say what have you been doing what have you been doing today he'll, he'll tell me how many walls he's built and you get me right so you've got that like that so that's one side and then I'm not going to do this side but you, you get you get the picture don't you so that one there you're going to separate all those into layers so that the other side and the thing is, if you want to, it to be all, and then it can hang up like that, yeah? If you want it to be all singing, all dancing, loads of them would look nice. And you can have them in whatever, you know, whatever colours, blue or pink or whatever. But I just think they're just really good little, right, good little decorations, aren't they? Aren't they lovely? Right, now what I'm going to show you is how to make oh, I've, I've only watched this i've only watched this oh i don't know whether that's the right one. Oh, right that goes with that right butterfly flutter by right so i haven't got fancy fancy um um the colored card that i would pick however right you can see that I've just used that. So that little that little butterfly, I'm just going to show you. I googled it and I made it for um, a little card for my niece to give to her, a, a mummy. And I just think, how cute are they? And this one's just got an, an extra bit that makes it look a bit more like a butterfly. But brilliant for kids to make. And I'm just going to quickly show you, right, how easy... The are to make right cut out a circle cut out a circle of card now the top wings the top wings and this isn't very good this it looks better if the top wings are bigger so if you cut out a circle um that's a little bit bigger than another one and another circle a little bit smaller if if when, so what I did is I, I drew round a lid of something and then when I drew drawn round the lid I just drew them almost like nipple shapes on on um each you know opposite each other they're not perfect right so then what you're going to do and I'm going to show you how to do this not by sticking but with a stapler right so what you want to do is you've got your thingy like that fold it in half 
and then fold that one in half. So you've got your little nipple things there, your little nipples there, and fold that in half there. Right, so this, this semicircle is a little bit smaller than this one. Now put them together like that. Can you see? So I'm just going to put them together like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a staple in there. So put a staple right in the middle. Um, right, so I've put my staple right in the middle there. And then I'm just going to open it out. So you can see, so it opens out like that. So when you, actually, I think it'd probably be better if you put the staple further down. But anyway, 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 anyway. So what I'm going to do, because this, this glue gun, gun's been on ages, is I'm just going to, Put a little bit of glue in there to hold it together and then a little bit of glue in there oh, everything sticking to everyone else everything else and then I'm just think I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the wing there just to hold it together so you've got your butterfly that looks a little bit like that I mean, you can stick that up if you want. Let's just put a tiny bit in there. So you've got your butterfly like that. And then... And then what this um, YouTube video d did was... Now, I would probably just stick it onto a piece of card and I'd probably just draw in pen the antennae things but what they do with this on the with this fancy one is they just cut a tiny strip cut a tiny strip of card fold it in half and then what they did was they used something like this is just a um a kebab, kebab skewer just to let's see if it'll actually do it just to curl the ends round Let's see if it'll do it. I think I'm supposed to be... Oh, I know what I've got to get dog food. Right, so you can see you've got your little antennae like that. And then what you can do is you can just... Let's stick it on like that. So you've got your little butterfly like that and then you can just stick that on too. Oh, I love the glue gun. Stick that onto a piece of card and then you've got your butterfly. Now, what you could do if you wanted is make loads of those and stick them all to the wall with... Um, with blue tack let's hope mum's not um upset about sticking blue tack to her walls right so the other thing i want to show you so there's the butterfly is i quite like these ones as well so these these are and and it was a while ago that i watched the youtube clip so let's see if i can remember how to do it so if you if you cut out and these are cut out really really um roughly if you cut out three of those, right, these ones I've already stuck them. So I've got those that I've already stuck. So what you're going to do with, so you've got three of these. You're going to fold it in half like that. And then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of glue up there to stick that together. So I'm going to, can you see, can you see? You're just going to go up like that in a line bit of a line there and I'm just going to stick that together like that so you want it to stay in a bit of a line this isn't very good 
Right, so I've stuck that together like that. Right, then what you do is, I'm not sure I can remember. <laughs> oh, I know how you do it now. Right, that's like that, is it? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Right, so what you're going to do, so you've got, you've got three of the, these like that. So I've stuck that like that. Can you see? Stuck that like that. And then I'm going to stick them all so that they're all, those bits are stuck together. So let me stick that so there together. I'm going to put the link on that, that I copied them off because the miles better than I am. Right, so I've stuck that down like that. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to stick them all together like that. Oop. Right, so I've got three of these like this. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to, if I can, when I watched the YouTube clip, it looked right good. <laughs> if you can see, I'm going to stick them together like that. Right, let's see if this is going to work. Let's see. See how good you're going to feel about yourself, though, if you've managed to make one of these. So I've stuck that one to that one. And then I'm just going to stick, if it'll go, oh, pen go away. Right, let me see if I've done this right. And then this one goes on there. Right, if it sticks together, I'm going to show it you. But there we go, it's sort of done it. So... That is quite easy. And I've got to say, it is miles easier doing it with um, a glue gun. But that basically is three circles stuck together. Dead easy. And I, even I, even I remembered how to do it. And I just think that looks pretty pointless on its own. But if you've got loads of them, you know, you can make little decorations. You can sit doing it while you're watching telly or whatever, you know, or sat at the kitchen table. So that's another of my makes that I wanted to share with you. And guess book, uh, affirmation card, Teddy. So I've gone through everything on my list that I wanted to talk to you about. So there you go. Think about how you can make a baby shower special. And I'm going to pop on the computer again and find some of the links to the videos to make this little guy um, and also this because I just think we can make so much you don't have to spend loads of money although although you know adults I mean to be fair you've got to be serious that that end of that because it's metal and it's it's a hot glue gun so i did burn my thumb the other day so kids should no way on this planet be um especially not young kids should not be using that um certainly older kids with supervision because really good to stick anything to anything but really hot so be careful be careful and good enjoy your making afternoon make someone one of those Tell me if you want me to show you how to make one of those. I think the next one I make, I think I'm going to have longer bits of wire there. Or But those things there, the one that I copied off, you um, use pipe cleaners. And I'll show you how to make some of those. So I've got one last thought to tell you, to leave you with before I go and have some lunch, is this. Hey mama, has anyone told you you're doing an awesome job? You're doing brilliant. So with that, I'm going to leave you 
and have a lovely rest of your day and have a lovely rest of your weekend. Okay, take care, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye.